Now let's get started making our cable. First thing I do is I put an eyelet or a terminal on one end of the cable, even before I decide how long that cable needs to be, because this allows me to bolt it to one end, bolt it to the starter, to bolt it to the battery, and actually route the cable exactly how it's going to go, not just measure and hope that my measurement's gonna end up right. What I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna hold this terminal end up to this cable and mark how much insulation needs to be removed from this cable to allow me to get a good connection on here but not have too much insulation removed that's gonna cause corrosion or allow water intrusion. There are probably pretty fancy ways to go ahead and actually remove this insulation. I usually use either a razor blade, cable cutters, or I'm using scissors right now because honestly, it's gonna get the job done. You do have to be careful when doing it this way that you don't end up cutting conductor wires, but this is the way I do it. And a little twist, and it's off. Now that I have my cable stripped back, I have my eyelet here, I stuck my solder slug into my eyelet where it belongs, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the vise to melt the solder in the eyelet to get the solder connection together, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my handy torch. Hmm. I think I'll go with the newer one. Now this is a pretty simple process. I fire up the propane torch, I start heating up the eyelet. Once the eyelet gets to the point where the solder it slug melts in the end of it, I can go ahead and stick the battery cable into there. Hardest part of this process is just making sure that you can get all the conductors into the eyelet and don't have some of them sticking out the side. Then I just hold the connection together for a few moments so that the solder has a chance to cool and bite into the battery cable, hold a mechanical connection onto that cable, and then I can take it out of the vise. Now, right after the battery terminal end is soldered together, I will stick it into the battery crimper. Then I just go ahead and move the plunger of the crimper down onto the eyelet, rest it on there, and smack it with a hammer. I want to hit it again and again until I reach a mark on the side of the plunger that's actually marked for the size of cable that I'm working with. Here I'm working with 2 gauge, but you see some marks for 2.0, 4.0, that's a double zero and quad zero cable. Now that I have my end both soldered onto here and crimped onto here, I go ahead and cut off a piece of heat shrink tubing. This is an inch and a half long piece. Slide it over there so that it covers up the joint entirely and time to shrink it. You can just see a line of that adhesive that is squeezed out of the heat shrink tubing, and that's letting me know that this is nice and sealed up. That glue is all through here. Now I went ahead and threw a second eyelet on the other end of this thing, and I have the hydraulic crimping tool here. I haven't tried this thing yet, so I'm gonna give it a try for the first time right here, right now. Got this in here, time to squeeze. I go till the jaws touch, and that should be a good crimp. That left this hexagonal design all the way around here, crimping this eyelet onto the cable. I'm really impressed with that, actually. 